All right, I know you also wanted the non-Apple version of the news, so how about if we get to it? As yes, we finally have an official date for the launch of the Pixel 7 series and even the Pixel Watch. If you thought OnePlus was done launching flagships this year, maybe that's not necessarily the case, but listen, maybe. And Bose just announced their new earbuds to take on the Apple AirPods 2, and I think they're pretty nice. I'm Jaime Rivera, and listen, as crazy as it sounds, I did demo those Bose earbuds yesterday before the Apple event under embargo, and I'm seriously debating those AirPods 2 now. This is Pocket Out Daily. The official news today begin with Qualcomm and their chipsets that will power the next generation of mid-rangers. Yesterday, the company made official the Snapdragon 6 Gen 1 and 4 Gen 1. The 6 Gen 1 is built on the 4 nanometer process, while the more affordable one stays at 6 nanometer process. Sadly, Qualcomm didn't share the full specifications of the CPU, so we only know that the 6 Gen 1 will go up to 2.2 gigahertz, while the 4 Gen 1 will cap at 2 gigahertz. The company promises a 35% increase in graphics performance and a 40% jump in computational performance for the 6th Gen 1. On the other hand, the 4th Gen 1 will offer a 15% faster CPU and a 10% more powerful GPU. The new hardware can now support up to 120Hz Full HD Plus displays and variable refresh rate and also support 5G connectivity, but no Wi-Fi 6E. The first devices with the Snapdragon 6th Gen 1 are expected to arrive on Q1 next year, while the 4th Gen 1 will make its debut this quarter. Moving on, let's get to Bose and more official news as the company announced that they will launch a new pair of earbuds that will directly compete with the new AirPods Pro 2, I guess. Uh, they're called the QuietComfort Earbuds 2, and I know, really long name, but we all call them QC anyways. What makes it even more interesting is that the company is making some bold statements about them. Bose claims that the earbuds offer more noise canceling than any other pair of consumer headphones on the market today, including over-the-ear models. The earbuds are capable of measuring the geometry of the inside of your ears every time you put them on, calibrating the sound profile and ANC to your unique ear shape. There are also discrete pieces for both the ear tips and the stability bands that hold the buds against your ears, causing a really good seal, which is important for good quality ANC. Also, the new earbuds are now IPX4 water resistant. They include on-buds touch controls, customizable EQ settings, and six hours of battery life. They will start at $299 and are available for pre-order today. Uh, and listen, I tested them out yesterday in a demo and I think it's probably the coolest demo I've ever experienced, one. And two, I think those claims are not far from what they say, but obviously can't wait to tell you more in our full review. Now let's talk about OnePlus because it seems like their next flagship could arrive earlier than expected. The company already released the 10T with the Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1, but now according to a new report, focus seems to have shifted to a new flagship powered by the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2, uh, or whatever it's gonna be called. We can expect the new chipsets by Qualcomm to make their debut at their annual summit that will happen during mid-November. So the report also mentions that the new model will be one of the first devices to feature the new chipset and that it will arrive before the end of the year. Yes, that could mean three OnePlus flagships in the same year. And if we go back a few months, there were a lot of rumors about an Ultra model that the company ditched for the 10T. So who knows, maybe it could end up making the cut or something? Another theory is that OnePlus could launch the 11 Pro in China and then make it global, like they did with the current model. However, uh, there are other many reports that are stating that the company is not planning to launch another smartphone before the end of the year. And I'm actually gonna incline to believe that because the chips also need to get manufactured too. And finally, for the hottest news today, let's talk about Google since we finally have an official date for the unveiling of their upcoming Pixel lineup and Pixel Watch. On a tweet, the company confirmed that the event will happen on October 6th at 10 a.m. Eastern. Google also confirmed that the new chipset will be named Tensor G2 instead of Tensor 2, as everyone assumed. The colorways for the new phones were also revealed. The Pixel 7 will be available in obsidian, lemongrass, and snow. On the other hand, the Pro models will 
Come in Obsidian, Hazel, and Snow, and I love these names. On a side note, if you're excited about the Pixel Watch, we have a sneak peek of it. Yesterday, Google CEO Sundar Pichai was part of an interview at Vox Media's Media 2022 Code Conference, and he was spotted wearing the Pixel Watch. I know Google shared the design months ago, but it's still interesting to see Pichai teasing their new device ahead of the big event. But anyways, for today's question, let us know, are you excited for the new Pixels or have the Samsung foldables or new iPhones flipped your mind away? Because I'm still excited. I still feel that Google makes some of the best hardware. I love their camera performance, but that's just me. Leave us a comment down below. We'd love to know your opinion. Friends, again, if you want to get the news earlier, follow us on PocketNow.com and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this one. You can also follow us on social medias. Our extended coverage happens on Instagram and follow me on my personal handles to see me try out cool products before they get announced. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I'm Jaime Rivera. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.